So, I gotta hold my hands up, I was completely wrong in my last video, as Emmanuel Faber Bozo comes out and basically declares for England. The WRU drop the ball yet again. Let's dig into the decision and try and work out why things have turned out this way. So, the long and short of it is the 25 cap rule. It's come to bite us in the backside once again. Another young Welsh player, because of these stupid arbitrary targets of 25 caps, is not going to play for Wales. Not as direct as other players like Joe Hawkins, but the reason Fewer Bozo is actually declaring for England is because by the end of his contract, he is unlikely to have reached the 25 cap target, which means, apparently, in the rules, they would have to then sign for a Welsh region. That is actually something I didn't realise. Um, so the reason he doesn't want to do this is because he's not far into his university degree in Exeter and he doesn't want to have to then have to quit Exeter because he'd have to move back to Wales um, and that would just disrupt his university work which is completely you know understandable and fair he's already had a lot of upheaval I think he was either in Cardiff or he was trying to get into Cardiff then he had to go to Coventry to and that's how he ended up at Wasps obviously the Wasps folded and then he ended up down at Exeter so he's obviously moved around a lot as well so it's important you to understand the situation for Fayou with Bozo and appreciate it and um, you really just got to point the fingers really back again at the WRU for these stupid targets I mean we've already got a really small player pool we're a t tiny nation who punches well above their weight but you've got a tiny player pool as it is and you're shrinking it with these stupid rules they just don't make sense I, I get it when there was more money and they had the 60 cap rule and you wanted to keep the big players in Wales and stuff like that. I totally understand it then, but that is a completely different situation now. I understand that they've dropped it, but when the money is completely not uh, competitive to other countries and all these players need to go and earn a living, it just doesn't make sense now. Obviously, I get that this is a different point, but the, this case still stands that just because he's playing outside of Wales, he's not going to be eligible for Wales. Now, if he starts going to play for England and nails down the spot and has 50 caps and tears it up, like, is how bad is that going to look on the WRU? He's Cardiff-born. I I'm assume that he wants, would have played for Wales if he had the opportunity. It seems like it was a debate that he was having. Um, it, just, it just makes no sense. And just basically everything I'm reading online is people just calling for the end of this 25 cap thing. I think that would be the best thing and most suitable for Wales. Like we were saying about the the player budgets, they're going to drop again next year. So there's going to be even less money in the regions. So um, one thing I did want, I haven't been able to find anything online. So I'd be interested to know if anyone knows in the comments. I understand that this is a six year sort of funding plan. But is, are we able to reduce that cap rule or get rid of it altogether before that six years? Or is it just we have to sit on that and put up with this for the next six years now? I, I don't know. I'd like to be very interested. I can't find anything online, so I'd be interested if anyone else can let uh, me know that. Because, um, yeah, if that is an option, then it's something that we really need to have on the table as a discussion now in this new these new boards and Gatlin needs to be banging the drum for this type of thing because it is hamstringing us. You've got players like Joe Hawkins, um, we've got had a crisis of outside halves and then you've got like Jared Evans who could be a potential good option for us who's not got 25 out caps and he's outside of Wales. It just, you know, is all these things. Um, it just doesn't make sense. But the, the headline is Fiwa Bozo. Um, it is such a shame because... I think a lot of Welsh fans uh, were excited to see him. Uh, just rugby fans in general seem excited about this player, uh, this young guy. He looks like he's had got a lot of promise and he, he seems like he's got getting better and better. Um, I spoke about him in my last video, which you should definitely check out. It was about uncapped players, um, which is still a good video, even though I was my opinion of Fiwa Bozo was wrong. But um, we're just... We're just making it difficult for ourselves. And this has literally been the story of Welsh rugby for the last... Well, just for as far as I can remember back. It's just we seem to always want to make it hard for ourselves. And like I'm not saying that Emmanuel Fewa Bozo is going to be the next Shane Williams or something like that. But if he's like a serviceable player, 
he can play on the wing and on in center useful in the squad um you know and he's like i said always improving we've just lost out on this now and it's gone to the the old enemy next door and it's just it just drives me mad um in, important to say that he's also got english family as well so it's not a resident residency thing it's actually family um that he qualifies for england over there so again not Faber Bozo's fault, not Cardiff's fault for having too strict rules um, for their courses in uni. It all boils down to this this agreement that the WRU had and the PRB and all that. Um, it needs to be looked at sooner rather than later because if we carry on losing these young players, it's, it's, it's just an issue that we need to sort out. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.